Welcome back to your Algebra 1 Semester 1 final exam review. Um, we're looking at lines of best fit for a graph on this problem, 37 or whatever number it might be this year. Um, in order to see if this is a line of good fit, I would really just suggest you graph each of them. So let's maybe just start with our first one. These are all in slope-intercept form. And as a reminder, our slope-intercept form, that mx plus b, our b is the beginning. It's on the y-axis. We call it the y-intercept. And then our m is our slope. It controls what our line goes up or down by. So a is going to begin at positive 8, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Positive 8. And then we're going to go up 1 over 3. Our line looks like that. Now, is that a line of best fit? Well, a line of best fit is really a line that's going to pass kind of right through the middle of the data. We like to think that they're the same number of points on the upper side of the line as there are on the lower. And it's not perfect, but that's generally what we're looking for here. So, if we started at 8 and went up 1 over 3, does that pass through the points? Well, no, it's not even close. The line's like way up here. So, it definitely can't be A. B says start our line at negative 3. Well, that's all the way down here. And then go. that doesn't go through the points either not B. So now we're on to C versus D. C starts at positive 3, that's right here, um, and then says to go up 2 over 3, that's our slope. So if I go up 2, that's up 2, and then over 1, 2, 3, that looks pretty good. Up 2 over 1, 2, 3, looks something like that. That's a pretty darn good line. I think it's probably going to be that, but let's make sure they're not trying to trick us, and let's try D. So actually, I should have kept that on there. Uh, let's undo. Um, there's that line. Let's compare that to D. D is also going to start at 3. But then it says go up 3 over 1, up 1, 2, 3 over 1, up 1, 2, 3 over 1. And that would be our line for D. I think we can hopefully all agree that C is the better line of best fit between those. And so C is our answer.